Well, yesterday at this hour, we told you uh, briefly about the new push to install alcohol detection devices in all new cars. The National Transportation Safety Board made the recommendation due to the rising number of fatal drunk driving crashes. We've seen a lot of those here in North Texas, too. Uh, this afternoon, ABC's Andrea Fujii is taking a deeper dive into the technology that could be coming to your next new car. This morning, a new debate in the world of auto safety. The National Transportation Safety Board is recommending all manufacturers equip new cars with monitoring technology that can stop drunk drivers from getting on the road. I look at this technology as it's part of this progression we see in the car technology going to the electrical vehicles, having, you know, self-driving cars. Now we're, we're talking about safety. The latest figures show one in three traffic fatalities is caused by a drunk driver, up 14% from 2019. In Fresno County, California last year, nine people were killed, including seven children, when a drunk driver crashed head on into their truck. We have the technology to prevent that crash and other crashes that happen day in and day out. So how would the technology work? Experts say the car itself could be designed not to hassle or distract a sober driver. Instead, automatic sensors would stop only an impaired driver from taking off. Especially when you're starting the car, this is the first time it's going to just, you know, try to get a sense of your breath. Volvo was already working on these alcohol detection systems, which also include in-car cameras that can monitor the driver for intoxication. The NTSB does not have the authority to require manufacturers to install this technology. It can only pressure automakers and other government agencies to pave the way for new rules of the road. Experts don't expect this technology to be available for at least the next few years. In the meantime, the NTSB is also recommending lowering the blood alcohol limit. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.